our ladder testing, let me go in here and show you what the task oriented. So the systematic, just to recap, systematic is hitting like the same shot over and over and over again, like five stock shots to a left pin, systematic warm up, 150 yards. Ladder test is hitting different distances, whatever it is that you set forth based upon the handicap that you set it, whether it's at, you know, minus 0.10 or minus 1.5 whatever it may be, and if they hit a certain yardage and that they are allowed to then move on, but if they fail, they move back. Now, the task-oriented, essentially, it's similar to the latter, but the difference is, is they, can, they can't move on until they do it, but once they do it, they will not fall back, right? So it's almost like, it's kind of like the latter test, but maybe a little, a little different, a little, maybe a little, some might say it's a little easier in a sense. It's not so... Um, rigorous in the fact that like it moves you back. You can also do it with different pins. So let's just say for this test, I'm going to do it as um, scoring clubs, right? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the scoring clubs and let's say I'm gonna do shots from 100, 113, 126, 132, and 147, right? And you could kind of figure out, hey, what are the, like, like, if you work with guys, like when we're working with guys on the PGA Tour, they hit a million shots from the 150 to 175 range, right? There's a lot of shots in that band, so that would be something that you'd really want to work on. But for, like, maybe for some of the other players, right, maybe it's a junior golfer who hits a little further or whatever, this might be some of the yardages. But you can also do, like, intervals, right, at, at the same time. So I've got my bands. I'm going to give three tasks per distance, right? So I'm going to do three shots and then I'm going to set the lowest criteria. Let's just say I'm going to set it at, um, let's just pretend it's a junior golfer. You know, they might shoot somewhere in like the 80s or so, low 80s. I might do a minus 0.25 and then I'm going to keep all the greens, but I'm going to take away the center pins, right? Um, I want to kind of challenge this person a little bit. So let's do that. We can save the test. Now I'm going to dive in. I'm going to go into my scoring Right, and now let me show you how this really works live and in person for how you would actually go through this task oriented test. Okay, so I got my first distance, it's 100 yards. You can see kind of the complex, and now you can see how much bigger the green is relative to what I put for the strokes gained at minus 0.25. So I got a 100 yard shot, kind of like a little right pin, probably be better to be a little short left if I can do that. So let's see how we fare. Set up, 100 yard wedge shot. Right, showcasing, so I hit it 18 feet, minus 0 0.10. So I was minus relative to tour average, but I was inside the threshold, so that allows me to kind of, you know, move on, if you will, right? That was a task, right? So I kind of completed the task. Now it's another 100 yard shot, because we had set a few options, a few chances for this, this, this thing, another 100 yards. Okay, see how we fare right at 100. That was plus 0.71, hit it to one foot, you know. That's, we'll take that one, that was great. Okay, now we go on to the next yardage, and you can see that it's going to give me, I set three balls per yardage, right? So now I've got one more shot at 100. Okay, hit it to four feet. That's another great one, right? Now it's going to move me on to the 113 yardage. Right, so I'm kind of working through this, trying to move on to levels, right? Now, if you, don't, if you don't do the task, you can't move on. You have to like keep going through the task. So this is the task-oriented testing. And once again, it's another way to, one, quantify how the player is missing, right, relative to whether it's strokes gained or it's whether to the combine score, if you have like those parameters, right? We always find that you know, like our elite high school players in the combine, just to kind of, you go, hey, like, what's good? I don't know. You go, usually a college-bound high school player is going to have a combine score. If it's inside, they're probably going to be somewhere in the low 80s. I know tour average is about 82 from what I've read um, on that TrackMan combine, but that's outside, right? Outside's easier than indoors. So if you're doing the combine outside, um, a, you know, a high school junior might be, they might be doing this and that combine score might be around the 72, 75 range, right? If it's outdoors, not on mats, like real grass in a real environment. Um, and then if it's inside, it might be somewhere in the 80s. So 
you just kind of have to figure out, but like we said, it's figuring out for you and understanding the player of what is that threshold that makes it so that it's difficult for them, but they also can win. But the best part about this thing, like I was saying earlier, is it creates a way for you as a coach, twofold. One, to create stress inside practice, and two, it gives you a way so that your player you know, can feel those emotions and then you have other things that you can talk to them about, right? Like you could say, hey, like on this pin, right? Like you can see like it's way better to air long and like let's talk about that. And then you could kind of do it in a free play environment where you go, look, if you hit it short, it's way more like way more penal in regards to strokes gain than if you hit it long. So there's a lot of opportunity to coach players so that they can score better. And that's what we're here for, right? We're here to help every player become the best version of themselves on the course and off the course. So I can't encourage you enough to dive into this, to this TrackMan Golf Pro app. It's amazing. It's going to help you as a coach. It's going to help your players. And it's amazing how much the better the players are going to be in the next couple of decades, quite frankly, because of the technology of things that TrackMan is bringing to the forefront of making players better with player development. Thank you so much and hope you guys enjoy this new performance center inside the TrackMan app.